Hi there, today I'm going to be showing you how to roll uh, round firework stars without a star roller uh, using just two buckets. This is what I've got here. Um, things you'll need are two buckets obviously, a container with some uh, a mixture of 50-50 water and alcohol, a syringe, um, a spoon, some scraping tool, I've just got a chisel here, uh, a mortar and pestle it's for mixing the ingredients, and a sieve. Um, so before you start rolling your stars, what you're going to want to do is prepare your mixture for rolling. Um, the mixture I'm going to be uh, making now is uh, green, uh, uh, display green. Um, which is 90% barium chloride, which I made myself, and shellac. Um, but both ingredients are well bore milled, uh, but because they are bore milled, they're very fine, which causes problems, uh, which makes stars look very lumpy, as you'll see here. And um, this, like the bigger the star is, the lumpier it gets. Uh, so you want to increase the particle size of the powder you're using um, but not the particle size of the ingredient. So you mill the ingredients fine and then um, you granulate it. So you, especially if you've got um, friction sensitive mixtures, uh, that, especially with chlorates, um, if you can't ball mill the, the stuff together so you have to boil mill them separately and then mix them, which uh, I do in a uh, mortar and pestle like this one. And um, then once you've uh, made your mixture, you you dampen it uh, with some water, uh, just enough that when it you, it'll clump up when you squeeze it. And then uh, I find it's quite easy to like you just crush it up into little smaller chunks. And then you run it through a sieve uh, like this and then you collect it on paper and you let it dry and then you have the the mixture granulated somewhat and uh, obviously you can't use very large granules so what I do is I carefully grind it in a mortar and pestle and then occasionally I'll filter it through like one of these window screens uh, you might not be able to see where it's a very fine mesh. Um, that's roughly the particle size you need. So then you just grind it down and then sift it and then you just try and get all the large particles out. And you will then be left with a reasonably fine but not super fine powder. Now one thing to note is it's important to wear a respirator because you're going to be aerosolizing a lot of this powder um, but for the sake of filming this tutorial I will not be wearing this so that you can hear me speaking. Now as you can see here my buckets uh, they're quite dirty from the previous time I used them um, so you'll want to use your scraping tool to scrape off the residue of the previous batch um, to stop that from wicking up a lot of the solvent that you're using to wet the stars as you go. Um, it'll build back up but you just scrape it off later. Okay, I've cleaned up the bucket as best I can. There's still some residue but we're ready to start. Um, so, what you will need to start is some something to make cores with. Uh, I use Sago because it's, it's what I just had in our cupboard. Um, uh, you can also use black peppercorns. Um, you can use bird seed, like the round type. Uh, I've heard millet also works. Um, so I just usually take uh, a palmful, add them to your wetting bucket, then you fill up a syringe with your 50 50 mix of alcohol and water. Uh, I reckon you could probably use vodka or something or some very high proof distilled 
thing or probably methanol uh, anything um, so you just have all of them sitting in a corner and then you will drop one drop uh, about like somewhere there in the bucket so you're not dropping it on the, the course and then you you shake it around like this so that they're all somewhat making contact with the, the, the liquid. Uh, obviously if you the more cores you use the more uh, water you will need to use and then as the stars get bigger you'll need to use proportionally more. You might need more water than this. Okay, so the cores have been somewhat sufficiently weighted. Then you take the, the composition that you prepared earlier, and then you add just a sprinkling into the bucket, just enough to cover the cores. You don't want to drown them. And you tap them away, check that none of them have stuck to the sides of your bucket. And then you want to jostle the powder around to try and get them coated. Probably might need a tiny bit more. And you can sort of see that some of them have started taking on the, the, the mixture. Then you swirl your bucket to loosen them from the powder. And you Try and transfer just the cores into your waiting bucket. And then you just repeat the process. One drop, and swirl it around. It's probably, yeah, it's about enough. The stars will gradually grow um, and they take a long time when they're small but they grow quite quickly as they get bigger. And you just repeat this process uh, as they get bigger and bigger and then I'll show you once they've gotten large enough. Okay, if you end up adding so much composition that your stars end up getting buried, um, that if you try and pour the stars out, you'll pour the powder out as well. So you just take a sieve, run the stars through, and then uh, you just pour them back out. And then uh, you pour your powder back into its container, and then you just continue. Now you can see here that after not too long, uh, the stars have increased a fair bit in size. Uh, these would be classified as micro stars, so they wouldn't burn very long. And I uh, just went a little while more, and you can see the stars are a fair bit bigger. Okay, you're eventually going to reach a point where you've got a lot of uh, large granules uh, building up as you've been adding uh, composition and then it's building up on the stars and these larger granules are less likely to stick to your composition so you keep your mortar and pestle on hand and then you take that that larger granulate and you carefully grind it up into a finer powder in your mortar and pestle and then uh, you add it back to your container of uh, composition One thing that I find is very useful uh, when using mortar and pestle for during and after grinding is a paintbrush. So you can uh, knock the powder loose uh, so it's not sticking to the walls. Uh, you can use it to like, brush away just about anything. And uh, you just pour it out. 
There's going to be some still left. Clear it off. You add that back to your container and then you just continue rolling. Okay, so now the stars have reached a size where they start consuming composition quite quickly. Um, you can see they're pretty fairly good, well sized. You could probably use these um, to make cores or use them as cores for uh, to have another layer of uh, stars or another layer of composition. Um, so you would have like your prime and then a red layer and then this is the green layer. Um, you can obviously you can make bigger stars with more layers but usually with the size stars like this you'd only be able to get away with two layers effectively. Now you can see here that the stars are fairly reasonable size. Um, unfortunately I've run out of composition uh, for this color um, so I'm just going to bring the stars up to the right size that I want using some prime. Um, the composition that I use for this is called C6 or Chrysanthemum 6. You can see the recipe here. Uh, I find it works very well for lighting compositions and it gives a, a decent um, tiger tail effect but it doesn't burn for as long. Um, so I'll simply be adding this until I have the stars about the size that I want. It's uh, like you can see here. Now I would recommend that you probably give a good three or four layers of the chrysanthemum 6 uh, just gives it enough time to burn enough for the stars to slow down and actually take light because if you have your your prime too thin um, then the stars will not ignite uh, when they when they fly away now one thing you'll need to be wary of is that a lot of especially charcoal compositions they all stick to the to the corners of your bucket where the stars are rolling um, and they won't get picked up. So you'll just need to scrape it off the walls or to like knock it um, just so that it gets brought back into circulation for rolling. Alright my stars are now about the size that I want them to be. They are nicely primed. Now all you need to do is leave them out in the sun for one or two days. I leave them under a lamp because uh, it's winter now and the sun doesn't really give much light and it's cloudy very often. Um, so you just, like I said, let them dry and then uh, every once in a while you can take one and you can break it in half just to check to make sure it's dry because if it's not dry the star's not going to burn when it's flying through the air. Alright, uh, that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you found it useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh, I